Over the last six years, SAFE has experienced overwhelming success as well as relentless criticism from both practitioners and thought leaders. There have been two common complaints that have persisted. The first one is SAFE's intimidation factor, especially at first glance. All those icons, layers, roles, events, it doesn't exactly scream agile or user-friendly. The second criticism is more tactical that SAFE only allows a release into production at the end of the PI. Now, if you know anything about SAFE, you're raising an eyebrow by now, especially about the release once a PI statement. But when there is widespread misunderstanding about a model, then just perhaps the model itself needs revision. And today we're going to see how SAFE 4.5 addresses both of these criticisms head on. In this video, we're going to cover the most important points of the latest release of the Scaled Agile Framework, or SAFE 4.5. For the first time in its six-year history, the Scaled Agile Framework has actually gotten more streamlined. In the past, SAFE's authors explained the complexity of SAFE by arguing that it's a framework designed to satisfy the needs of the largest IT organizations. And if you don't need certain elements in your business context, you can always tailor it down to meet the needs. But this explanation has not been well received because it leaves the adopter with too many open questions. So SAFE 4.5 creates four flavors of SAFE to make the tailoring decisions easier. You just choose the configuration that's right for you and you'll only see as much of the model as you need. Your configuration choice is then remembered for your next time that you visit scaledagileframework.com. So let's start with the smallest safe configuration, Essential Safe, where the value stream can be implemented by one art. This configuration is the recommended starting point. Essential Safe will satisfy the needs of most small to medium sized companies that have only one value stream. If you're a longtime safe user, you might have noticed that there is no portfolio layer in Essential Safe. That's right, you don't have to have a portfolio. Think of a common scenario of a software company that has four scrum teams working on one product. Since there is only one value stream, there's no need to coordinate a portfolio of value streams. Why add that overhead if it's not necessary? But if you do have multiple value streams, you will need to go with Portfolio Safe, where a collection of value streams can be coordinated and funded by the portfolio layer. The next level up is large solution safe, which requires a value stream with multiple arts. This model is for situations that involve many suppliers and multidiscipline teams to create the world's largest solutions, such as satellite systems, smart devices, avionics, and self-driving cars that require the combined effort of multiple trains to deliver a complex solution. And finally, the full safe configuration adds a portfolio level on top of the large solution safe for those that must coordinate the activities of multiple value streams of various sizes. I think you'll agree that these changes make safe much more approachable. The next enhancement in safe 4.5 addresses continuous delivery. Even though safe has embraced a mantra of deploy anytime for several years, many casual observers have missed that point and believe that SAFE only allows a release of a solution into production at the end of a PI. So the new SAFE big picture makes an explicit point of placing the continuous delivery pipeline front and center. In a nutshell, the continuous delivery pipeline represents the workflows, activities, and automation needed to provide a steady flow of value to the end user at any time. This construct deserves its own five-minute video, so stay tuned for that. In fact, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll be automatically notified when it comes out. So these are the salient points of SAFE 4.5. There are several other enhancements with SAFE 4.5 that are covered in a link in the show notes, so be sure to check them out too. I'm Armin Morabian, and thanks for watching this video.